Good afternoon, my cellmates. We're going to play with paint again today, and I am oh, just stop my washing machine. Um, I'm going to go back to some of my, <laughs> I suppose they could be my trademark colours because, as you all know, I love the bright colours. I do try everything. I try the um, sultry. I try the classy. Um, I try them all, and you've got to do that. You know, but I just always love coming back to my nice, bright, vibrant, uplifting colours. And because I haven't been well, I want to introduce back <laughs> this week some bright, vibrant colours. So I've got this uh, 60 by 30 canvas, um, 60 by 30 centimetres. I've got my nice giant push pins underneath. One thing I've forgotten to do was put my tape on. But um, I'm not going to turn back now, so I'm going to do it without the tape. Um, but if it was definitely to be sold, I would uh, do it in tapes as it leaves a nice uh, finish on the bottom. I'm going to use my Swifty Swipe tool, which was my crudely made, just cut out a piece of soft plastic file divider. That's the just a spatula and I just taped the top so all the bottom is nice and flat to be able to swipe it's just very handy it's a good shape it's a great little tool I'm doing a bright and vibrant one so I was gonna I thought I use my swifty swipe tool <laughs> okay I'll start off with this purple I did mix this myself and I, I normally do great purples but not too happy with this so I might actually use this, well, I'm going to use it in this pour. It'll be fine mixed with the other colours. So I'll make sure it goes over all the edges. Let's cover my edges with this. But don't stress about covering your edges because the runoff paint, you always have enough to... Um, Put over your edges. Oh wow, okay, bright and uplifting. Here goes my brilliant red. They are all Montmartre Studio Acrylics in two litre containers. Um, this is the brilliant red, which is really is a beautiful, brilliant red, and I love it. Do use a lot of this. I just find um switching over i have still got lots of global paints left and i've got some byron paints and i've got chroma but um i'm sort of gradually as i use them going over to the montmart because they're well i'm just finding them consistent they're not uh, montmart aren't sponsoring me or anything uh would be nice though montmart but um my australian online supplier who is brilliant if you're in Australia and you want to order anything to do with uh, furniture painting plus acrylic painting there's a little link in my drop down box they often send me paints to try which is really nice of them so uh, I don't get paid commissions or anything I just get sent products every now and again which is great for me and you guys too get to enjoy it so that was the brilliant red this is, actually I'm just trying to think what this one is, was it the, oh actually this might be the Cobalt, Cobalt, no that can't be, I'm just trying to think where I've got this paint from now, anyway it's blue. <laughs> It's the sort of bright blue. I think it, it's not the cobalt, is it? No, it might be a cool blue. So that doesn't actually look too bright and uplifting at this moment in time. But we'll get there. We will get there. The bright colours will come now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put in 
my real bright yellow here. Now this is going to lift the socks off it. <laughs> my gosh, they look kind of looks like Australian red, white, blue. It could be Australian, American, UK. <laughs> Now, that's more bright and uplifting, isn't it? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna add a bit of this turquoise because I absolutely love Montmartre's turquoise. Just gotta put a bit in here, so. I remember I did probably one of my first or second ever videos, which on YouTube, I think I started about six months ago now and of course at first I was only putting a video out I don't know one or two every couple of weeks but I really started with a bright vibrant one only that the video was terrible because I had my husband working in the background noise and I think on the first one I didn't actually talk which lots of people probably like that um, but it, I look back at it and I love that piece so it's kind of a bit of a pilgrimage back to when I started doing the um, YouTube which is like I said about six or seven months ago now which I swore I would never do it wasn't my thing too old to be on YouTube what would I do but um, I'm thoroughly glad that I did because I'm enjoying, well I was doing my art anyway so and I was posting pictures on the art sites or on my own acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook art page so it's nice to be able to share my techniques my triumphs and also I share my failures now that is very bright <laughs> very bright and I like it so it's just gently giving it a tilt obviously I had loads of paint on this and obviously could have done with a lot less I suppose but it's not too much runoff I just kept making sure the whole of the canvas gets covered that it gets some um, all the colors all so doing it this way as well stops the colours from muddying if you um, pour the colours on separately and then tilt it around that's what I find I just find cut pours if you're a beginner you think there's very a lot more chance of them going muddy but when you pour the colours on separately like this a lot less chance of your colours muddying oh. Don't worry about the edges, you can just finger pop those and dab them just to make sure that they're all covered. I think, I think you can still see all of that there. Now, have a think, what colour will I swipe in, <laughs> if you know me? Well, I'm going to swipe with... The na a really dark navy I make this navy up out of the, just a dark blue then I add a blob of black and then I add a blob of green deep deep green so yeah it gives a really nice navy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my swipe down the centre with my Swifty Swipe tool that's quite a thin line actually I might leave that if I need more of the swipe color I can always come back so got my crudely made Swifty swipe tool and I'm gonna swipe it so I'll just start at the one end and go down just nice and relaxed just taking it down actually this would probably be better if I did a a square end for this I did the curved shape in my Swifty Swipe tool originally for my spiral pour but probably for this 
just gives you like a really nice even control like the smallest obviously smaller areas you swipe and we don't worry about any of that we can go back over that which we will do just wiping off your your swifty swipe in between each um, swipe and I think I've got a oh a bugger or something Oh, I'm going to stuff that up. Okay, I'll have to get that out with a, something else. But it's in there. It's um, part of the, what is it, organic organic material in my artwork. <laughs> but I think it's, I'm not sure if it's a fly or it's just a, a something not nice in there for sure. And now I bet I won't be able to find my tweezers which I can't. Am I in the right spot? Is that it? Yep. Okay, got it. A lump of something looks like a fly. And don't worry about it because it'll all be um when I it'll all be fine afterwards. It won't make any difference. Just chillax about it. Enjoy the process. Do this nice and calmly and oh, I'm leaning over from the back and I'm trying to lean over a wet another wet painting so I don't want to get my shirt in it. Just ruined so many clothes because I just keep coming out here and not bothering to get changed into specific paint clothes. Even though I have got an uh, apron sitting there. It's quite warm today. Um, I'm going to go back over these areas in a second and I think I probably needed to put a bit of that more navy. I'm going way off track here now. I'm going all over the joint. In fact, it's coming like the big ghosty swipe thing. Probably would be a good tool to do the ghost swipe with. I'm going to try and work it back this way. This kind of um, swipe is always good for like a reflections pour. I like my swipey tool, I do, I do like it. Because you can sort of, that's it, you can turn it to the side where the pointy bit is. So you can make yourself one of these so easily at home. Have a go. So it gives you a little bit more control over your swipe even though it doesn't look as though I've got much control <laughs> at the moment. I'm all over the shop, but I'm not sure. I think it's all going to add to the character of this piece. I'm not too worried about those at all. Those little bits, because when they're torched, or if I do any embellishing to it, that'll be all be gone. But look at those colours. Oh my goodness. You can see already. And look at the cells coming with the different colours. Look, that's got like the red, the orange. I didn't put orange in it, but it looks orange. <laughs> I didn't put green in it, did I? Except, oh, more the turquoise. But yeah, it's all showing, it's all showing and mixing. Well, it's looking nice. It does kind of look like the um, Northern Lights, is it? You could do a, could leave it at that and put your, um, what do you call it, your landscape through it. Okay, I've got my butane torch. And I'm just going to just give it a wave. Probably not doing my cluster cells, just waving it over, seeing what we get up. Because this will bring the colours through. Oh, look at this. So gorgeous. There's my baby, brighten, brighten my day. Always makes me feel good seeing nice bright colours. Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at these clusters of the cells within cells within cells. Now my pouring medium recipe and what I did with these particular paints, 
io is in the drop down box there's a little v like looking click on that press on that drop down box and it will tell you i'll tell you there my pouring medium and the recipe that i did for this um my australian online well not my uh, a australian online supplier that i use is in that click down box for all the stuff that i've used in this if you're in the usa um i believe amazon sells the helmar silicon and the they definitely sell the montmart two liter acrylics and look at that that is pure gems gems and clusters that is just coming up while we speak absolutely stunning look at this look at these cells like oh my goodness that is a beauty they're really beautiful and you've got that effect of like the uh, with the swipe color the navy looks like a negative space so those red cells up there too they look so gorgeous i will post some photos at the end of this video and if i will leave this now and come back in about 30 or 40 minutes I may just very well leave this exactly as it is and not do anything further to it, but the cells may very well stretch out and cause a, cause a whole little life of its own, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, or I might come back and do some rolling balloon embellishment. But if this is your thing that you like it to this point, then if you have a go at, have a go at it, then do it to this point. Um, quite easy and simple if you just relax and enjoy the process thanks so much for being with me again and uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already please press the red subscribe button uh, if you want to pop over to my acrylic art by Jilly Q Facebook page and uh, follow me there uh, I often post lots of the dry dry work photos after they're all dry and sealed or some little videos on finished items so but that is really stunning and it's just just full of beautiful gems gems and clusters and they look gorgeous thanks for joining me see you again next time